Hi there, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and I have my lovely son here with us today to do some crafting, Jamie. Hello everyone, let's get <laughs> crafting. <laughs> so we have some lovely new stamps to play with this time. Exciting times. It is, Exciting it? times. What do you think of this range? I, I like them to be honest. Yeah? The uh, steampunk theme, it's... Um... Yeah, no, it's really nice. It's something a bit different. But it is it, different. Yeah. It's um, it's very different. So we are using, I forget the name of this one, but it's a clock. You can do it whichever size. You can do the large clock. We've got some smaller ones. But this is just a technique, really, just to show you that you can mix and match the stamps. I mean, I did this the other day and quite enjoyed it. And I thought, it, it I don't know why, it just reminded me of a grandfather clock. Um but mm. yeah, I mean, you could put any kind of foliage around there. It would look quite nice at Christmas with the holly and everything yeah, as well. Yeah, you can even put a few little animals at the top there yeah, as well. Yeah, you want you to. Could. So that, that's what we're working with today anyway. So we're going to put that up here and we've picked our own colours, haven't we? We have. What have you gone for? <laughs> I've gone for green. Surprise, surprise. What you colour have you got for? Oh, blues. Oh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Okie dokie. Right, we've got some multifarious card here. This is our cream card stock, um, which has got a good thickness to it as well, and it's nice and smooth for stamping. But I think with it being like a sort of vintagey collection, I thought the, the cream card yeah, would, would work quite so nice. Hmm. Hmm. So to start with, I am going to ink up in the twilight with the clock. So I haven't actually got black on the table, um, so we're not using the black mm -hmm. at all, um, which is quite refreshing. Sometimes yeah. it's quite nice to be stamping other colours as opposed to black. Um, oh yes, you've went, we've only got one of these, sorry. <laughs> Beat you to it. <laughs> oh, I would have struggled in the past. <laughs> right. And there's more beyond that, isn't there? It's yeah. Like, Behind. Oh, no, that's five. There we go. Thank you. It's got a nice bit of detail going on in there mm. as well. It is. Yeah. Very the um, the DT have done some fabulous oh, samples. Yeah. Really lovely samples using the this new range of stamps. So many different ideas as well. Yeah. Like they've not just gone with one kind of thing. They've in. Yeah. It's great into with different well, stamps, the stamps and different scenes that you wouldn't even think. It's, no, I know. It's great, it's, isn't it? Because yeah. when you design it in your head, you know how you want it to be. And then you send it to the design team and they come out with something <laughs> totally different <laughs> that just blows me away. Yeah. Um, and they're so, all so different to each other as well. They are. And compared to what you've done. Yeah. No, it's great, isn't it? It's yeah. great to see. Just interesting. It is. Fascinating. Fascinating. Yay. Nice. And it's central. It's good. So we cut out, um, we stamped on a piece of just photocopy paper and um, cut this out. And that's basically to go over the top and we're going to hold that in place and then we're going to stamp around the edge. And this just means that the leaves don't um, go over the top of the clock mm. underneath. So it's just a form of masking off really. Yeah. So. I'm going to get my little stamp, my, my little block, and then I'm going to pick some stamps. I think we've got two of those actually. So we have, well, I don't know, I mean, you pick whatever, there's, there's that kind of leaf. We have got more leaves if you want them. Um, I quite like that one, so I'm having that one. A bit of fern around. Got that one as well, which is quite nice. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe do a little bit of fern when you've got the base of okay. you know. Yeah. So this can be a deeper colour. Yeah. Well, I'm Light going with lighter colour first. Okay. Me. <laughs> okay. You can do what you like. Yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> as usual, <laughs> I'll take my own spin on this. <laughs> okay, so. I'm just inking up. This is a golden meadow. Remembering to put this over the top. I have Fantasia. 
and then wants to copy mine. <laughs> And then we're just going to just stamp around. <laughs> right, so you can make this as wide um, or narrow as you want. I'm kind of building it up a little bit more, making it a bit thicker. I'm kind of worried with it being almost like a wreath. I know. We you all know how my wreaths go. <laughs> <laughs> That's looking good. Thank you. Really, I'll just concentrate this time. <laughs> right, I am moving on to Shady Lane. Mm. So I'm going to go with another one of our older stamps. I say older, I think this was our last collection. Um, much older. It's just a, um, an oak leaf, basically. Uh, so I'm, in, I'm bringing in a deeper colour now, so personally I always start with a lighter colour first and then you bring your depth in as you go along. It's easier to know when to stop then I think. Yeah, you can always add more but you can never take away, can you? That's right, absolutely. I should listen to more Samson songs really. <laughs> Oh dear, we shall get through this. <laughs> okay, I've got another little foliage stamp. These little pound stamps are great for this sort of thing. You can just build up. One thing, like that. I like how that looked and I'll try to put it on there, but it didn't work. Because okay. I didn't realise how I did that. <laughs> That, and and you know what? That's that is what happens sometimes. You you do something and you think, oh yeah, that's great, and then you 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 don't know. Oh, you, you don't know. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, like did I change my style on purpose? What's that now? Well, have you? Don't, no. I haven't done no. it. Why am I working with purple? You're sabotaging my work. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I've lost the blue. Oh, you've got the blue. I need another colour. Yeah, you can share a blue. I might use a pink actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> my blue back. Um, <clears throat> a bit of pink. Just feel like it needs. Oh, yes, that's perfect. A little bit of spring into this as well. Make it a little bit more flora, florally. Is that a word? <laughs> florally. Florally. <laughs> oh, I didn't even stamp then. Just kind of made a mark. Okay. Marks are all right. Sometimes. There's never a mark on uh, Joe Rice's cards, though. No. Very. I was just thinking that. Very clean, isn't she? Yeah, I don't know how she does it. No, I, I just, I mean, me and Sarah Anderson are just, our hands are always absolutely covered <laughs> by the time we finish demoing. Yeah. But um, Joe Rice's hands are just like spotless. Absolutely. How does that happen? I don't know, clearly. But then we're all different. So I don't know those. So I am creating a little bit more depth now on the inner edge and I'm gonna use the midnight blue. So it's quite a dark colour, so I am taking plenty off. And then with the really small stencil brush, I'm going to just bring in a little bit of shading around the edge. And this will just give it a nice depth. How are we getting on? Oh, it's really good. Oh, thank you. I really like that. I need to have one more. Hopefully I don't overdip it here. It's always one more, but it sends I it. I know, it is. It sends <laughs> it over the many. edge. <laughs> Happy with that? That's 
really lovely. Thank you. So is yours. Thank you. Um, what's yours? Right, have you seen what I've done? I put that back on and then I've taken a small stencil brush, pick a colour and um, probably I think that's why we put the blue. blue at all there and then just bring a little bit of that in but make sure you take off first because um, you, you don't want it to be too strong a colour. No. as well just to give it a little bit of depth you do get lost in the moment don't you when you're crafting it's just we always do this the... just stop speaking <laughs> But our, our fellow crafters know exactly where we're coming from. Because that's, that's the place you want to escape to, isn't it? You know, sometimes you just want to lose all your thoughts and just get absorbed in what you're doing. That's what it's all about, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Just a slightly lighter. Further on. It is it's strange. Yeah. It is... Not the difference how the each stencil brush is so different to yeah, each one like well, the detail that absolutely it, you know you can concentrate on much smaller areas can't you so yeah. um, but it's not until you know you're you're faced with something that you think oh, I could really do with you know a finer stencil mm. brush yeah and I think that's why we brought them out in the end because. Um, you, know, we just, you kept on finding yourself in that situation. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So I'm going to put a little bit of foliage hanging down now as well. So awkwardly. <laughs> Okay, right. Foliage coming down. We don't That's have what we're going to. For. I do like how them colours have actually gone. They've gone um, really nicely. nicely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I need to do some foliage hanging on because I've got that splodge. Okay, um, <laughs> just as an idea, we've got some slightly thicker foliage that might work. Cover, oh, yeah. It might cover it a little bit better. Oh, yeah, because yeah? yeah, this is very, very thin. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, just, no, I wouldn't just, cover it. Just as a thought. Okay. I'm gonna put I'm like, gonna put a couple of birds at the top as well. Mm -hmm. Let's just be get creative. Do you think we'll do you think we'll see, see it? Or do you think a mouse? Actually, do you know what I might do a mouse? What colour would go well with bees now? Yes. Or should I just do it in a purple? You could do you could do purple. pink. I mean, it's a long. It's the bl it's a blue theme, isn't it? So yeah. pinks work quite well. Okay. And I, do you know what I'd do first? I would stamp off. Yeah. Um, Although it needs to be quite strong for that bit. But though. that's fine. You can stamp over the top. Just stamp off. Yeah, and then stamp it slightly to the to the side. Like that. Yeah. And now stamp it and now do your darker one next to it. It's a pretty colour, isn't it? It's a very pretty colour. It is colour. nice. It is very nice actually. I'm gonna have a dancing mouse on top of my pillow. Oh, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> well you can have one too, you know. 
I think my birds will have got lost in the foliage. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He's happy. Oh, he's loving the new he's collection. He's so happy. Oh, wait, I didn't leave the... Oops. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. I thought he was still stumbling. Uh, I'll add a bit more foliage, actually. Yeah. On that Maybe side, just on to even side. it up. Yeah. Another faded one. I mean, you could always make it like part of it, and you could do another little blob there. You know, make it look like it's. We'll go over with um, stickles. Put some dots, oh, and it'll yeah. disguise it even more. Then yeah. as well. I'm going to move on to some words now. I'm going to go with twilight. I think. There we go. That's nice. Happy days. Happy days. It does remind me of a grandfather clock though. Yeah. An outdoor one. It does. Yeah, one that's almost Nature's. abandoned. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Nature's grandfather clock. Imagine coming across something like this. I mean, the wand of the fairies. They're getting more carried away than me now. Oh no. Um. What did we say? Oh yes, I need to put something on top. We don't have to, but you know. On top, on top, on top. What could I? A little bird, a little fairy. There we go. Just do a sit on that little. That little branch. Yeah. You got to remember, she's got to. Oh, she's facing that way. She's got to have the light behind her to make her stand out. If you stamp. Um, a silhouette image over any foliage, you're going to lose her. Oh, yeah. So I'm you need to set her on top. Of, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking. <laughs> you would be. There are other mice there, I think. There's, there's all those there as well. He's a crow. What, an upside down crow? No, oh, just like that. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Right. I always go to over the top of these things. Really? You, okay. You go with whatever you want. That's what crafting is about. It's your own interpretation. Okay. This could either be really good or really bad. Let's have a look. Oh, oh no, that's, that's pretty that's good, good actually. actually. That's right. Yeah, I like that. It's not bad. That's really nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I prefer yours to <laughs> that. There's writing there. I've got this as well. Yeah. This this stamp. I mm. can't stop using this. It's a lovely textured mm. stamp. I mean, I think I've got four different textures and they're all really lovely. Mm. But I tend to use this one to distress the edge of the card quite a lot. It just gives you... A little bit of a rustic. Yeah, I like that. It's nice, isn't I'm, it? I'm, I think I'm going to put that on mine. I like um, that one. That's... Kind of all distressed looking. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Mm. I might even make it multicoloured. Might you? Okay. Can you do that? Like, say you got it, mm. and you got two different ink pads. Yeah. You could kind of mix them together. Well, you can, but you've just got to be careful that um, which colour you do first. Because if I was to ink up in this one, which is a really light ink pad, and then put the dark on, it's going to mark the like it has really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. not that yeah. it that matters overly, because I mean I do it on loads of ink pads. But if you wanted to keep it clean, then mm -hmm. you might be faced with the. Uh, a different colour going on. But I do that with them, um, you know, like um, the poppies, say. Yeah. So I would get one ink pad, the green one, diversifying, and I'd do the stem. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, and then okay. The, the head of the flower I'd do in red then. Yeah. Yeah, and then stamp it. It's actually quite a nice effect doing it like that. Mm. And you think the foxes as well, you know, when I've stamped it on the foxes with the red and then gone around the edge with the black. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's quite a nice effect as well. So I'm just going to go along the edge with the ink pad. Okay, I've gone for a two tone colour here. Ready? Yeah. This is going to be the next big thing. I mean, I missed some there, but that's pretty. I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do quite yeah. like that. Camera might not be able to pick up that colour, but it, it, it does look nice, it's, doesn't it? Yeah, it's um, warm breeze and monarch. Monarch? monarch. Mm -hmm. Again. Right, I'm moving on to glitter. Oh, you're so far ahead again. Which and been? everybody's probably saying, just wait for him. Yeah, just wait, wait for, for me. You're so mean. <laughs> I will wait if you like. No, it's okay. You keep on going. Keep on going. The people right. will get bored if they wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit of stickles on now. I don't know what colour to go with. I need something to stand out. Um, might use a bit of the green initially around the edge. I do like this green. This is gorgeous. I'm going to use it on everything. Now I'm just resting my wrist on here just so that um, it's easier to control. Because mm. trying to do that just freehand up in the air would prove very difficult. So just rest your wrist on your card, your paper. Where's my paper? Oh, there it is. You got it? Right in front of me. Okay. And now a different colour. I'm wondering which one to do. Um, got some liquid pearls here as well. I'm feeling that I need a bit of red, you know. A bit of red. Yeah. yeah. It'll bring out the pink here yeah, as well. A bit I think so. Yeah. I've got a red here as well. Don't forget. Yeah. I'm going with the liquid pearls, you can have the stickles. Oh, uh, I see. How are you doing? Good. Yeah? Yeah. You're liking this one, aren't you? I am liking this one. It's oh, great yes. when it goes right, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it would happen like this every time. <laughs> oh, I mean... It wouldn't be fun in that then, would they? No. People, people do think that you know, you get it right every time, and that's so not the case. Nah. There's so many times where I've got it completely wrong. I'd start again. And start again, yeah, absolutely. Or have to really adapt what you've made. Yeah, but it's it's a learning curve, isn't it? It's, it's getting to know what not to do as well. Mm. So... I'm thinking a little bit of something in the middle of that as well. Quite like. Oh, should we go with that? Or maybe a lighter cut. Actually, no, we'll go with that one. Properly playing now, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. This has kind of just gone off to oh, creative land. <laughs> it's just been. A I'm, 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 to be honest, I'm just enjoying these new stamps. Yeah. Well, everybody shut me in here for two days, didn't they, when I got them? Yeah. And I just played and played with the new stamps, which is great because I never really have time. No. To play with the stamps, but this time, yeah, two days. Two whole days. Two days. It's great. Just so enjoyed it. Yeah, you've been creating loads of loads of pieces. Yeah. Oh, nice. 
I'm thinking even doing more steampunk now as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. You I, love I this collection like, that much that you yeah, I want more. I've kind of got the bug. <laughs> so yeah. I just hope everybody else likes it as much as I think they will. I've enjoyed it. So um but the team really like it, don't they? So yeah. wow, it's really different, but yeah, they love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what your favourite one of the collection is? I think the one that we're going to be doing next. Oh, okay. Mm. Stay tuned. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's nice. I need to do, just do the corners a bit, I think. A bit of glitter. Okay, did you see what I did with my ink pad? No, sorry, I was so in the world of my own. I'm going to just give you an idea. There we go. So just angle it. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, nice. Just gives it... Yeah, it almost sounds, frames it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. So if you want to have a go at that. Sure. I'm done. You're nearly done. Well, you've got your sticky bit of glitter to do yet, haven't you? But you could put anything at the top of there, couldn't you? Because we've got some nice little characters. Yeah, loads. You know? Loads. A even. fairy, a dragon, a... Miles a bit. Even or, even your cricket. Even Gemini cricket. Yeah. Yeah. Loads. It's just really nice. I'm yeah. so impressed with oh, that. Thank you. I am so impressed. Yeah. You're a good I'm little liking, crafty, I'm liking you know. this. It's the steampunk. I'm telling you. Do you think that's because it's uh, it, it it sort of lends itself to a little bit more uh, masculine? Some of them, anyway. Yeah. Because we do get a lot of people asking us for more masculine stamps, don't we? That's pretty good, actually. It's not too bad, that, though, is it? You've gauged that pretty good. I was just about to say a little bit more. <laughs> it's quite gluey, isn't it? Yeah. The, the red one. I don't know why it's different, but the red one is a little bit more gloopy. So you just need to... It's okay though, because you can push it around quite you, easily. You like can, that. you can, or you just get a little bit of br a little bit of a brush and pick it up. It's fine. I'm not doing more now it's... because I'm seeing the gaps <laughs> clearer and clearer. <laughs> I'm not gonna have to add more because there's more on that side. Perhaps it is this. This could go on forever. <laughs> until until the whole edge. <laughs> <just, just>, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, okay, I'm gonna stop. Yeah. Stop. stop. Put it down. Okay. Right. Let's put put the mid on that now. So. Well, I, I had a lot of fun I with really that. Actually, like that yours. was really good. Yeah. No, yeah, it was good. You. It's come out really nicely. Yeah. I feel um, like there's 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 a lot you can do with this collection because of these textured and uh, the words. Yeah. Yeah. It's know, a bit more grunge, isn't it? Yeah. 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 right well there we go thank you so much guys for joining us today we have really enjoyed ourselves and um yeah stay tuned yes. because we're going to be doing another card tomorrow yes let us know which colors you would use yeah that would be good to know or oh. let's hope that it's inspired you to actually have a go yourselves yeah. and show us what you can do. Yeah, yeah, share it with us. You take care and we'll see you soon. I'll be crafting. Bye. Bye. Completely different, aren't I? I know, they? I know. I it's said I was going to just... go off, wasn't I? <laughs>